Today's lesson is task four for ELA. So it's kind of like the second part of task three, which is about your favorite food. And you guys already did your organizer, which tell, tells me about your favorite food. Um, what does it look like? What does it smell or what does it taste like? Where do you get it and how do you eat it? So those are the different things that we're going to transfer over here to our final draft. We're gonna make these into complete sentences and write them onto our final. So I wanted to just share with you what I did and I color coded it so you could easily see um, which circles I was taking from. So my very first sentence I'm taking from the very middle here. I'm going to tell you what my favorite food is and it is a raspberry. So over here, because all I did was write, write raspberry here. So over here, I'm gonna say my favorite food is a raspberry. And then I'm going up here to the first circle and it says, what does it look like? I said it was red, small, circular, and hollow. So I took those words and made those into a sentence. They are a small red fruit that is circular and hollow. <clears throat> And then what does it taste like? I said sweet, sour. So I had to make those into complete sentences. Raspberries taste mostly sweet, but can get a little sour if picked too early. So I did add a little bit more detail into that sentence. And if you guys notice too, I'm not starting my sentences with the same word. So the first sentence I started with my, the second sentence I started with they, there I'm talking about raspberries. And the third sentence I actually started with raspberries. And my next sentence I'm starting with these. And it says, where did you get them? And I get them in a garden or at the grocery store. So this circle right here. So my sentence says, these berries can be found either in a garden or at the grocery store. So I'm not saying raspberries are a small red fruit, raspberries taste mostly sweet, raspberries can be found either in a garden or at a grocery store. So I'm not starting it with the same word every time. So try to change that first word of your sentence. And then the last one, it says, how do you eat it? Pop them in your mouth. So I need to make that a complete sentence. I like to eat them by popping them in my mouth, okay? So once you've done the organizer, it's pretty easy to just make those circles into complete sentences, all right? Don't forget though, because I've seen some boys and girls that I know we have this, we have this issue at school a lot where I say, make sure you have capital letters, make sure you have your ending punctuation, and also start your sentences with capital letters too. Okay, don't forget to do that and make sure you have finger spaces so, that's it, so that it's easy to read, all right?